they had a go. TCB just God What do I do now? Oh my god! TCB just me. I thought I had adblock on. They caught that live. Come here, bro. It's over. We're done. Ball lock. All right. Oh, it's annoying. I have ad block. The bot is deleted. Look. For anyone that's coming in new. We had a situation because of TCB ad. Not because I, I, I didn't plan nothing. It's not an old streamer had a hidden tab. No, I just simply clicked and TCB said, blood out, even though I had ad block on. So I need to see, at least it should have been on. I, so. I actually, I don't stream with, uh, cause it sometimes with the stream quality. So I don't stream with my VPN on. I don't tend to do that. Cause I try streaming like higher uh, megabytes. And I think sometimes I do with VPN, it kind of. So, but listen, honestly, now I'm gonna probably do it honestly if I'm be with you, if I'm be with you, okay? So. Why is it in Spanish? Oh. Okay, let me. Okay, we're scuffed. Today we're scuffed. What? Ragnarok, what is going? Oh, sh you know what? I'm tired. Hey, you know what? I'm tired. Of I sh <sighs> All right, this is ridiculous, man. So TCB has this new feature where every time you click on a screen, they show an ad. I mean, and, and that ad could be anything from God knows what, straight up like, dude, like, bro, could you imagine if it was actually, bro, if it was gay, it, 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 <laughs> I'm kind of grateful now that I got Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Wait, what is that? STG, what is this? Actually, Bible side where I don't remember, you know. Did his face ever go back to normal, like uh, normal, like at all? No, I mean, I don't think so. Maybe when I was asleep. Assuming it's a no, that we're dealing with a range of at least 50 meters, let's say 100 to be safe. What's the move? We're smack dab in the middle of town right now. There are people everywhere. Even if we check the buildings, there's too many blind spots, although we should be able to notice when the technique is activated again if we get uh, to a good vantage spot. Oh, duh, we just have to go to open field. Uh, that'll work great if you guys want a colossal dumbass. Uh, that does make me a dumbass uh, for coming up with it, uh, moron. Let's uh, have let's uh, let's give the babe a dory. He can clear a hundred meters in a flash. Even if the technique is disabled by moving out of range, they have to be a real idiot to show themselves right after. And we've already established we're not going to chase after us. They just wait till uh, they'll just wait till things cooled off and start over. We can't do anything to stand out. What? Uh, who's the moron now, Kugisaki? How about sending them all to an all-expense-paid trip? That might work, but the cursed user likely knows her location through their technique. We only have our eyes. Let's not stalk the stalker. 
if we send them on a trip, they, that might force the curse user to wait and reactivate the technique when they get back. Not entirely impossible, but that'd be a ball. Uh, but, but but that put the ball in the culprit's cult. A court. Do you? And by the way, if you want the same energy, bro. No, 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 no. Yo, I'm tired. All right, I'm just tired, bro. I'm just tired, bro. Yeah, listen. Me reading this shit fast right now. The problem is that this shit's boring. The, not only is it boring. Not only is it uninspiring. Not only is like it's like like it's not like the last two chapters of Toriko, right? The last two chapters of Toriko were phenomenal. They were so damn good. I wouldn't mind reading them shits now because that's how good they were. They were they were amazing. They were phenomenal. This shit is ass. This shit is trash. Oh my god. And I'm putting my career. Well, my Twitch channel mainly at risk. Yo, I'm finding the urge right now not to. Just Twitter rage at TCB like halfwits. You piece of shit. Do you do anything but nitpick? Yeah. Plus, you're assuming this curse user dude is super smart. There's plenty out there dumber than us. Try me. Uh, try me at uh, Otello, Go, whatever it's called. Fushiguro, I'd wash you. Hell yeah, let's show him uh, our brains. You two sound like you're compensating for something. Uh, I'm boring. You're, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing your sandals. We have them uh, leave the techniques range. Then we'll strike at the moment it's uh, reactivated. That's exactly what we've been saying. My plan involves that. Yo, hey, kick could be the move. Kick could be the move. Uh, Substance Orca? Well, Substance Orca, appreciate you for the, appreciate you for the sub, bro. Appreciate see you, sir, right now are a shining light. Masha for the tier two, appreciate you. A 40, okay, a 40 floor condo, boom. Uh, it, sh uh, it should be easy, uh, be over 150 meters. Uh, we'll have them go to visit their friend and zip up to the top floor to get out of the Tinix range. Uh, then Ichiji-san said a window can keep an eye on the buzzer at the entrance. We'll find out, we'll find a good lookout point and wait for re reactivation. Uh, we're dealing with the uh, with the creeper that sets enough to stalk uh, Fukuzawa-san 24 hours a day. We don't uh, we didn't find any hidden microphones as long as they don't have a technique that lets them overhear our conversation. We should be able to bait them. Then oh, your Facebook is normal. Oh my god, what? And then the dumb we sent a dude. Oh my god, what the hell's gone? Who the hell are you? Quick doggy ready for launch. Gain uh, got his face to the normal. Says the one girl. And then she starts the thing, ba bomb, and then oh my god, piece of cake, not a big deal. Then uh wow, ooh eyes, holy shit, ha, lol, idiots, and then puppy guy, lol, neg, you guys suck dick. Taking things lightly as I see, I'm sorry. You know this dude? Yep, nope, I've never seen him before. You bitch, you whore, you slut. Who do you think brought you that bag? Oh my god, Gucci, Versace. Oh my god, you're right. You're that one simp I gave a reach around to. Lol. Who would have thought? A classic pot called the kettle black type situation. Seems like a pretty uh, grudge. It's not reasonable to expect her to remember everything customer uh, from her hostess work. A dude, dude spent a million yen. <laughs> Simp! Spent a million. Wait, a f wait, hold on. What the f A million yen. Wait, what? That's like fucking $45,000. Okay. Uh, who forget that? Sounds like um, uh, sounds like a pretty uh, sweet gig. You're so clueless, you know that. Yeah, and then and then and then looks at the guy, forty million yen, oh my god, at seven k. I thought it was more than that. What the fuck, seven, bro? Nine k on a hostess? God damn, what is she doing, bro? How many bottles of baby oil, nigga? Damn, what what the fuck is this? Holy shit! Hey, don't look so glum, chum. <laughs> I, I thought you said chum. <laughs> Don't look so glum, chum. Uh, not like you're going to be executed or anything. What are you going to do with me? Well, uh, I'm well past the age where I should, you know, uh, know how to communicate, but I try putting all the blame on her. Uh, I thought that after uh, Kus uh, Kusakabe Sensei, uh, I do switch training with you, Go Sensei. What the fuck is this? Um, I guess that'd be fine, but how do I put this? Uh, haven't we had enough of, uh, have we had enough Go Shantaru? What? I want you to be a bit more forward thinking, Yuji. I want you to carry on my dream should anything happen to me. Uh, but if this is where I bow out, uh, there will be a point where you guys grow further than I ever did, right? Okay. I mean, he did have hopes for, he did have hopes for usually for enough fine. That's, that is true. But, I mean, yeah, sure. 
Fair enough. I think there should be at least one among you who forgets about me and develops strength completely different from that of my own. None of us can ever forget you. You seem kind of out of character. You're sounding a little timid. Are you okay? Ha, you're such a kid. This is a this is confidence, confidence I've never had before. I'm expecting great things from you. You got that, Yuji? Okay. You acknowledge uh, you messed up. That's all that matters. Take some time to reflect on that. Come. Oh, okay. So we're going to bring you to the fold. Okay. <sighs> Take some time to reflect on. Okay. So we're going to have Yuji try and be like, not Gojo, but be on the same level or tier as Gojo in terms of what? Power, respect, understanding of how to operate as a core sorcerer influence on the world and so on and so forth i suppose that's the idea and this is the beginning of yuji being that nigga okay take some time or oh, hence I, I guess hence the uh yeah right care in the world exactly take some time to reflect then come help us on your next mission on our next mission i'm i'm expecting great things from you huh <laughs> low by the way what do you do with that thing oh i tossed it what don't sweat it's not dangerous anymore uh, should make for perfect. Uh, should make for a perfect talisman now. Come on, it's all good. What? What'd you toss? Finger. Finger. What the fuck? Howdy, Sakuna. Mahito. Huh? Howdy, Sakuna. Who would have thought I'd see you here? Well, well. What's this? Our third conversation? Where the fuck are you? Damn, nigga, where are you guys? Hell? Huh? Watch out for uh watch out for the chainsaw devil. If he eats you, you guys are fucked. Full stop. My technique messes with the soul after all. Consider this a vestige welcome to the pathway. Wait, what the fuck? A vestige welcome to the pathway souls walk on their way down the cycle. So he's on the pathway. Like is he fucking Togoro? Like, is he basically in the pathway to Nirvana or something? Or the pathway to the underworld? Like, Togoro walking down to Limbo or some bullshit? Where are you right now? What the fuck is this? I meant to ask you. You were lying, weren't you? To yourself and everyone else. You weren't living according to your own stature. Huh? You wanted revenge. Revenge against those who resented and persecuted that curse. Unwanted little wretch. What's the difference? I only lived in a manner I knew. That is how I choose to go on. Wait, time the fuck out. He's Red Skull. Revenge against those who resented and, pro and persecuted that curse, unwanted little wretch. Who's this little wretch? And why is Snake Way so mid? It's just a dark room. Oh himself? Himself. Okay. What did um what are what did um what did fucking Angel called him the fallen one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a nickname of that, like the fallen one. Something about Sakuna's uh backstory that's like up in the air that you know Gege said, nah, dude. You wanna learn about this bullshit? No. Hold on. And it's Mahito of all niggas. He was just chilling, he's allowed? Like, where's Buddha? Like, yo, get your fucking ass in there, bro. What are you doing? Yo. Nirvana, nigga. Like, yo, you get up there, dude. What are you doing? Stop chilling. Damn. Okay, hold on. Right now, right now, I'm 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 interested. What what's the difference? I lived in the only manner I knew. That is how I choose to go on. Actually, no. I had a different path. I had different paths I could have transversed. Two, to be precise. Urame and what's her face? What's her face? The one girl that um uh Yo Yozu, thank you. Yes, yeah, yeah. The one that that took over Megumi's sister's body was incarnated into her. And yet I couldn't help but spit out the curse uh string uh, the curse is stirring deep within my uh viscera. I feared my own curse would Emulate me, or emulate me? Yes, emulate me. There should, hold on, time out. Okay, fuck it, hold on. Let me make sure I'm, I'm saying the words right. I don't wanna be. Emulate. Yeah, okay, I'm not crazy. And then this is Viscera, right? 
it emulates and then this is v i s c e r i'm saying it right visceral oh that's visceral wrong word viscera viscera okay okay yeah, okay i'm gonna press it here all right and yeah i couldn't help but spit out the curses stirring up within my viscera i feared my own curses would emulate it would emulate me should there be a next me perhaps it would be nice to walk a different path so is that urame just fucking crying that's so boring you've gone soft asshole I fear my own curse would emulate me. Should there be a next time, perhaps it would be nice to walk a different path. Urame. We still don't know if Rame is a dude or a girl, but fuck it. Doesn't matter. That's his man's boo. Trap or no trap, doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. Either, okay, so the pass. Straight gay. Gay. Okay. <laughs> Yuji Chance Akuna, huge Yuji W. Okay. Cultural comprehension is that what are you talking about? I just don't. Sometimes I have to make, make sure I, I, I look up the words so I'm saying the right word. But I, I understand what's going on here. But it's interesting. It's interesting. Though I feel like the idea of them just kind of chilling in the, in, in the soul realm is a little bit too much. But at the same time, I guess Mahito does, does manipulate the soul. So that's fair. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it is a girl. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's still ambiguous, but because people debate all the damn time. But either way, we'll see. Plus, you maybe won't see. Wait, what the hell? So I'm the only one left. Uh, ooh, sulking like a child. God damn it! So when Sukuna told Yuji when he died or passed away, nah, bro, I'm a curse through and through. I'm a curse. Through and through. No different path for me. None of that bullshit. But it looks like, no, hold on, time out. Time out, time out, time out. Time out, hold up, wait a minute. When we go back into the cycle of life. The circle of life. Sukuna is thinking differently. Because he did lose. That's a fact. He understands that he did have different paths. And I do wonder if he actually did understand your Yozu completely. He said that he understood love, or he had a conversation of love, but I don't think he necessarily did. And that's why he's also holding Urame the way he is. Tenderly. Gently. As if he's holding a babe. I don't know if it's a contradiction, but more so he's realized. Now that he's lost, right? And now that he's going back into the circle of life. Him becoming what he once was may not have merits now anymore. At least not to, where he, not, not to when it was back in, let's say, in the Heian era. He's learned. He's, he's, he's evolved. It's like, um, I think actually what he is doing is kind of similar to what we, maybe not like Tagoro. Tagoro was more of like the mystery, and we still don't know why he did what he did exactly, and so on. Um, and, you know, as you go on, and you throw a circle of life, how it works exactly, it is going to be, changes are warranted. You could argue, all right? Mahito is maintaining form. He wants to come back as a pure fucking curse. Now, mind you, Yuji did say, it doesn't matter if you come back as a curse, right? Whether it be me, next generation, we're still going to kill you. We're still going to put you down. We're still going to fuck you up. We're still going to annihilate you. So this is interesting for Sukuna even, so not when, because obviously when he's still alive, he's still going to maintain who he is and have his convictions and so on. But now that he's lost, and he's kind of lost the apex status, I mean, he's shit, he's going back to the goddamn cycle of reincarnation. Now it's different. This is so boring, you've gone soft, asshole. Obviously, I, I lost, after all. You lose with grace. What the hell? So I'm the only one left suckling, uh, uh, sulking like a child? God damn it, yeah. So you're the only... Hmm... Sukun is fulfilled. Which is interesting. 
wasn't there a few things about Sakuna's character where back in the Heian era, he was bored or like he was un. I forgot what they said exactly about Sakuna. Like there are some things about him that I'm I'm, I'm trying to recall here. Like I think that he was. I remember, yeah, I remember seeing his expression back in the Heian era, and he seemed very, like, depressed, or, like, he didn't seem like he was really all about it. He wanted to resurrect, and he was all about Ghetto's, or, uh, Kenjaku's plan. And to be fair, he's a curse. Having a plan, or aspirations, per se... Maybe maybe that's not necessarily the idea for, you know, a curse, hence the name. A lot of it is based on self-worship and self-elevation, but now that he's passed on, maybe he wants to try a different thing. Kenjaku is... Uh, a human, correct. And so he, he wanted to do like, different things. He was revived as a curse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was a human. He was, was. But I'm saying now. Or oh, I guess when I say was, I mean hey on era was. And then currently now, but then obviously, you know, reincarnated. Yeah, right. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The all looks early, JJK. Oh. Maybe. Could be right. Too bad. I wonder what this... I wonder what the your Yozu path also symbolizes, too. I'm trying to figure this out. I kind of get you're going out here with um, uh, Urame, but your Yozu, I'm not too sure. Love? I don't know if it's love. Go on. Okay, so does he not then love Urame? Maybe love and passion are different things. Compassion. This is interesting. This requires this. This could be different than I think it is. I need to go back and kind of see, because he said that he understood, but I think that maybe he was actually maybe maybe he didn't. Maybe he was lying when he talked to her about love. Okay, that that I need to go back. That I need to go back. That, that I need to go back. Now, roommate was not uh, his uh, lover. No, well, I don't mean a lover. I mean love. Different things. All right, either way. There's two different partners, two different paths. I don't, I don't know if it's partner per se, but... You can, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. He doesn't understand. Uh, he understands, but doesn't care what he said to Yuji. That, that, yeah, I think that's clear. I think that what he said to Yuji, that doesn't matter anymore. He was saying that as he was, you know, still in that mindset. But now that he's lost, in totality, different thing here. Okay. So, Mojito just fucking yelling in subspace. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the dark snake way. Then we have characters. We have, of course, so Yuta, back in the fall. Panda, cute. Um, uh, Sam and Rill. Inumaki and Maki. Goaded. Hikari. Fair name again. Honestly, that do. It is what it is there. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Monster Tria. Itadori Yuji, Megumi, Kugisaki Nobura, Creek, Open, Why is the talisman not on it, bro? Why is it in the middle of fucking shrine in the middle of nowhere? Oh, God. Well, okay. No, we're not getting a Shippuden. No, we're... we're Thank you so much. Oh, stop, stop. I can click now and not worry about fucking, you know, certain things from on my screen. Thank God. Thank you so much for reading these past six years. Please look forward to Gege. Uh, 
Akutame's next work, volumes 40, 29 and 30, will be released together on December 25th. Okay. That is Jujutsu Kaisen. The end is... I mean, that's how it always kind of is, though, right? Like, the end is a new beginning. Like, you saw... Attack on Time, I believe, was that way. The end was a new beginning. Toriko was for sure that way. The end was a new beginning. Um... Naruto was kind of like a more solid end, but then they did Boruto, so that thing's kind of went... Okay, whatever, fine. Um, Bleach, Kids, New Beginnings. Yeah, kind of that same way. I feel like the most interesting part about this for sure, this finger... I hope it's a middle finger. I hope that he's giving us a middle finger saying, <laughs> fuck you guys for even thinking that I was a top-tier mangaka. Lol. Okay. Um... This, to me, though, is by far the most interesting part. Sakuna's idea of two paths. Well, actually, number one, I know that's interesting for sure, but also Mahito was waiting there for him. Well, well, what's this? Our third conversation. So Mahito was still there, just lurking, lurking. Okay. We may have to do a reread or skim through of JJK to really get our bearings of the matter. But to me, as a story, I feel like the final arc for the most part is pretty strong. Up until the last few chapters where it takes a nosedive, I would argue. And not because of the events per se in themselves, but because we only have five chapters left, right? Um, however, that j just because Megumi never goes full potential and, you know, um, Sukuna doesn't go out as folks would like it to be, and we, there is no Kenjaku plan reveal, that doesn't necessarily, or, uh, Kenjaku's plan goes to fruition, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, right? You have to look at it in the totality of things, where it's like, okay, in the totality of things... Megumi as a character, where does he lie as a character? As a character, you could argue that because he, almost like, let's say, Jamie Lannister, where Jamie ultimately, he does die. Spoiler warning. Spoiler fucking warning. Game of Thrones. He does die along with Cersei. He's not redeemed as a character, okay? You could argue that Megumi as a character was never supposed to really uh, have the willpower and the strength to be able to overcome Sukuna in any way, really, unless he got help from Yuji, which he did, obviously. But ultimately, he needed that. He just couldn't do it himself. He's a flawed person. Obviously, every character here is flawed. He's not, like, he's not, he's not larger than life, right? He's right where life should be at, you could argue. And because of that, his character it makes the most sense that his character would need someone like Yuji, who is larger than life, to help him out in that situation. Fair enough, fine. Um, but it is disappointing, heavily, knowing that there's not more to come after the fact, where there is going to be an attempt to really pursue Megumi's situation to higher heights, because we're in the story. Who cares, all right? Megumi ends here and now. He escapes, and that's all you need to know. Full stop. And he's the secondary main character. It's like... When you think about other shonens and how they do their secondary main character, right? Killer One Gone. I'm trying to think who the fuck the main character is. Second, who the hell is secondary main character for uh, Bleach? Is it Rukia? I guess Rukia. Fuck it, why not Rukia? Um, maybe, actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, actually. Okay, definitively, okay? Definitively, definitively. Other stories that do this going to be in character, it's not Chad. Get the fuck out of here. I will, I, I will find you. Yo, alien, I will find you, and I will punch you in the skull, son. You are fucking nuts, if you say Chad. Um, well, whoever this is going to be, okay, whoever the... Secondary main character could be in various shonens. Most of them are vastly better than Megumi, okay? Uh, even though it's not done yet, 
so I can't necessarily use it. But um, Zoro. Um, so, but but again, it's not done yet. So we have to see how things work out. But Zoro, but Zoro, Zoro should be fine. So Komatsu, far superior. Sasuke, it is what it is. Superior. I'm, Sasuke is a better character than Megumi. Full fucking stop. Okay. Um. Again, Killua. Well, okay, it's not over here. But, oh, I don't think we're gonna go back to Killua and Gon at this point in time. That's that's my argument. I don't think we're gonna go back to Killua and Gon. I'll be with you. All right. I think we're gonna have a new story, but that's my take on that one, honestly. Um. Um. Aladdin, if he's yeah, Aladdin or Alibaba, I guess it's kind of like the, uh, it varies there. They're, they're better. I feel like Megumi as a secondary main character falls short, even though he's interesting and he's a flawed character and he's not larger than life and he's always going to fall short through and through no matter what. Um, at the end of it, that's what happened. And you did see his quote unquote um, uh, domain expansion in the gymnasium when he fought against um, the receipts guy. Uh, Reggie, fils okay, fine, but if that's his last hurrah, and his, which it was, that was his last hurrah in the story, and then he disappears for the entire final saga afterwards, it's like, damn, oof, that's tough, that's tough, so it's unfortunate, but that's what we get, that, that's what we get, that's what we get for Megumi, so he does fall short. Kugisaki! Christ. Her return is fine. Her return is actually good. I think it's a good return. However, the time spent with Kugisaki afterwards is a problem. That's the problem. Half of the story, she's missing. And so what we get with her at the end, or not the end, at the middle of the Shibuya Incident arc is her peak, literally. And then for half of the story, she's gone and just kind of comes back, does one attack, and that's it. And so it doesn't feel like she's actually a main character, which is nuts because she is a main character. I know folks want to say that, well, Maki, no. Maki is not the main female protagonist. She's not. She's literally not. She's far from. In the terms of story, she's more like a Hinata or a Tenten. Okay, maybe that's aggressive. An Eno. That's Maki. That's not insulting, it's just what it is. She's not the main protagonist, or she's not the, she's not the main female lead. She's not Sakura. She's not. Full stop, okay? Full stop. So, she's more like uh, Meryl in Dragon Quest rather than mom. She's not mom. Mom is the main female lead, okay? Maybe not Meryl. Maybe, maybe let's say the princess, okay? Mark, mark the princess, okay? Um, and so there are different expectations that kind of are applied to these characters when you've established who the main leads are. In a story like Game of Thrones, you can't really say who is the main character. Like, you lean on Jon Snow and the Starks because they're, like, the first you see. Okay, fine. But are they really, like, the main characters? Not necessarily. There are no real main characters in Game of Thrones. But it's designed that way. But in JJK, like, other shows, it's established there are main characters, right? So, to me, and it is what it is, Maki feels like Leorio when she shouldn't be Leorio. Not, 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 not Maki. Uh, Nobra. Nobra feels like Leorio from Hunter x Hunter, where Leorio is the main character, but he gets like fuck all. He's getting stuff now, but he gets like fucking nothing. He gets like nothing for a huge part of the story. Okay. And so, called Gege said Kubo that he can't write female characters. I think that Kubo is criticizing Gege when it comes to, or Gigi, when it comes to how he writes his female characters. Because I, I, I recall that. There was a thing in an interview, an interview between the two where um, he said that none of the females that you draw or write are actually sexy. And in fact, Kugisaki and Maki are very similar characters. 
you do have Miwa, who's a bit different, more passive in some sense. But Miwa is a character that's not really shown in the story that much. And then, um, um, how do you say it? what? What? What's her name? The girl with the um, uh, hair. I forgot her name. The uh, broom chick. She also is kind of like in a similar. How do you say? Not called Kubo. So the female represents the taste of an author. Does it now? Wait, Kubo called gay, gay, gay. No shot. <laughs> I remember there was a. Vi I remember doing a video on that a while ago, though. I forgot what he said. All right. I remember it involved. Uh, I remember it involved the the, the appearance. And the archetypes of characters, where Maki and Nobra are very similar characters. They're very similar characters, and how they operate. They operate kind of like, just like dudes. And femininity is not there with these characters at all. Not really. Uh, which is which is fair. Yuki's kind of the same way too. Yuki, Maki, Nobra. In terms of how they're written, they're very very similar. Um, they're very similar. Miwa's slightly different. Yeah. What's her face, too? Maki's sister. My. She was the same way in many years. She actually, she was, she was the same way, too. Like, in terms of her character archetype. Um, the only passive one, different one, is Miwa, really. So, it's funny, because the same way Oda would draw characters like Nami, but have different facial structures and so on, that's a criticism of that. It's what Gege does with actual female character archetypes. That, that's what he does there. So, <laughs> but that's not necessarily a problem of itself, too. If, if you give Nobra time to explore a character, to grow as a character, to change. and No, there's no time for that. Because the moment she comes back to the story, guess what? The story's over. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a, that, that, that's a problem. Nobra is almost in like a worse situation than Megumi is, even though Megumi, you could argue, had mm. I'm not too sure. They're both in bad spots coming out of it all. Because one gets a because you almost have like two Leorios. <laughs> You, that, that's what it is. It's almost like you have two Leorios. Two. Two. I can't even say they're Kurapikas. It's like two Leorios. Cole, Pop is a better written character than Mojik. Yeah, of course. What? Of course. Pop is like Usopp, but he actually is realizing what Usopp will be. And he does that. Yeah, Pop is a, Pop is a very good character in Dragon Quest. Uh, He's very good. He's really good character. Like on our, they have, dude. Uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna do it now. But hope here's this, right? Yeah, Pop is a great character. He's a fantastic character. Um, though to be fair, I guess that in terms of Yuji's good character too. All right, but just that like there's a huge gap between Yuji, Megumi, and then Kugisaki. Or I guess Kugisaki and Megumi could be comparable. But Kugisaki's fault is not necessarily the fault of you know, Gage's writing, well, in terms of, like, it does make sense that she does come back. That does make sense. It makes a lot of sense. That's not a problem. Well, only five chapters left, that's a problem. That, that's what he fucked up. Now, Sukuna is goaded. If you say otherwise, you've lost your fucking mind. If you say otherwise, you drop the ball. You've, you, You've missed it. You, you've missed it entirely. Sukuna is, even now, this chapter makes Sukuna better as a character. As a character in this chapter, Sukuna is now getting better. He's had a full cycle of realization as a character. All right? He understands what he was, what he could be, and he's choosing a path now. Sukuna is actually goaded. He is one of the better villains in Shonen. It's a fact. Okay? Now, I'm not saying he's, like, as epic as Maru Chiha in his peak heyday, but be grateful that there is no fucking Kaguya moment where it's like, hey, your main villain can suck a dick, a big one, too, because here comes a goddess. Like, no. What? Huh? <laughs> what? What the fuck are you doing? No. Hell no. Fuck no. No. Oh. 
heart can't take it. Takuna is a clown. He's not a clown. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. What about Sukuna? Okay, hold on. Both chats. What about Sukuna is clown activity? What? Roll. Roll with me. Roll with me. I'm a big boy. I'll roll very quickly. Roll with me. What about Sukuna is clownish? And if you say Maho Raga, shut the fuck up. I swear to God. He's just boring during the fight? What? George, everything. What does that mean? What does that mean? Not gonna lie, I do like uh, Kaguya, but okay, that's. Ranga Chan, Kobe beating Sakuna for real. Cole, then Maki is the female lead by your logic. What? No, what? what huh? Maki? No. What? What's about? The place would have been lost. That... Guys. Okay. So I'm asking chat and I'm waiting. I'm not hearing the answers because I don't think there's fucking answers to be had. Read the whole thing, Mahad. What's the whole thing? We're, we're, okay, listen. There are donuts to get to. I will get to them, all right? I'm just talking to you guys right now. I'm, 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 I'm talking. Okay, not gonna lie. Kaguya would have a better concept if actually Oda did what he did in the filler or for Naruto. We actually have a Kaguya flashback. Fair enough, fine. But we don't have that in manga. So, hey, this is there. But I see you're saying. Okay, look. Cole, you need to reread. The, uh, Cole, you need to re. You need you need to reread for the story. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm good. We're good. We have to reread. At least not now, but we're good. But nobody's talking about Ken Kenjaku. No, no, I'm talking. About, I'm, 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 I'm talking about Shakuna. That's it. Not Kenjaku right now. Just Shakuna. He overstayed his welcome. Okay, look. Here's the problem. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the answers as to where he's clownish. None of these answers solidify anything about him being clownish. Okay. No, none of these answers. None. Zero. Zero. Okay. He overstayed his welcome, but what he but what did he do during his welcome? He fought everybody. He fought literally the entire cast of characters. I don't know what more do you want from a dude. This, this is where it just confuses me. He fought everybody, right? Like damn near everybody. And from the very beginning of the story, Gege tells you who Sakuna is. It's like Shanks, right? The author is telling you this motherfucker is him. So don't be surprised when he starts popping off and starts going nuts and no one can handle. That's what he did. Gege is a man of his word. He's popping off like Shanks. He's popping off like Mara Uchiha. Don't be fucking surprised. And the problem I'm seeing, again, we, 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 Gege, Gigi, Gigi, whatever his name is, okay? Gigi, Gigi, yeah, yeah, whatever his, yeah, 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 whatever his name is, okay? From now it's called him, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Had a similar character in Gojo. But they had their bout. They sealed the deal. Who was better? Who was better? The world's strongest creature or the world's strongest man? Who was better? The strongest sorcerer back in the day or the strongest sorcerer now? Hmm? Who was better? Ashra Indra, Naruto Sasuke. You have to seal the deal between the goats. And the goats sealed the deal. Sukuna won. And you have to fucking stomach that. You have to stomach that. There, there's no other two cents about it. I know people want Gojo. They, they, fuck me, man. I know people. I do. Today's a mess. Today's a fucking mess. I know people want to get on their knees and slurp a lot of Gojo cum. I get that. But the problem is that Gojo... Though phenomenal, he wasn't the chosen one. 
He was not the chosen one. That's Sukuna. Sukuna was so chosen that even after fighting the phenomenal one, he fights against my boy Kahimo. And then he fights against Higuruma and Yuji. And then we have Yuta. And we have all, he goes through a gauntlet like no other. He's proven himself as a character, not only in terms of who he is as a curse. We saw that. I mean, you could argue, yeah, when he first takes out Yuji's heart and blah, 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 blah. Okay, he's a savage. You know, he's a curse through and through. He proved that when he annihilated it with ease in like a 200-meter radius, right? We're talking about how big is that? We're talking about like an area like five times or six times the size of, 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 of Karama's whole body length, bro, right? We're talking about this massive AOE where he wastelands everything, bro. He obliterates everything. He kills the babies. He kills the women. He kills the elderly. He kills the men. He, everything gets fucking annihilated. And this shakes Yuji to his core. And he left that taste. He left that taste for Yuji. And he proved to him what it meant to be a curse in real time. And then he only solidified that when he finally left Yuji's body, was inside Megumi's body, even against his old former squeeze or the girl that liked him, Yoyozu. He's done too many things. In terms of writing, Sukuna is outstanding. How he goes out... You can argue, eh. Eh. but that's okay. That's okay. No one, at least as far as I understand, as far as I know, no one calls pride from FMA Brotherhood a bad villain because he got done in internally by greed, and then error, error goes into his soul, he fucking does alchemy and then turns into a baby who sees real form. No one calls pride a bitch because he goes out sad. No one calls father from Brotherhood a bitch because he went out and he was done in by the, um, uh, by the fucking door. He was done in by God, the universe, the world. All right? No, no one says he's a bitch. Nah. Nah, because of good writing. Sukuna has damn good writing. What do you, Sukuna's writing is, is on point. Nothing about Sukuna's writing for his character. Even now he gets more character development stuff. Even now, here and now, Sukuna, when he's dead, like this man is in the same spot that Makoto Shishio was in, dude. And he's talking about reincarnation and how he's, Realize that there could be a different path that he can take, where he's lost and he understands what that means now. He sees where he could have taken things in life with Urame or with Yorozu. And he's leaving away, and Mahito calls him soft, but that's a part of the growth. You can't just have some over... You can't just have some dude that's just overly bloodthirsty, like, yeah, I want to kill, 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 savage, savage, blood, blood, kill, kill, gore, gore, murder, 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 murder. That's Mahito. And Mahito is studly, but Sukuna is a Ben Rin character. This, this chapter in of itself is a very good Mover's character. That realization, that maturity, even someone like him, who's been around for like a thousand plus years in Hanner, even he matured and he realized. What about Sukuna's writing is bad then? Fall down. What about, what about Sukuna's writing is bad? Like, where does Gege drop the ball of Sukuna's writing? Where? Where? Like, what moment? Where did he fumble? And don't tell me it's Aura. Please, God, don't tell me that. For me, Sukuna is good. Uh, for, so, so Sukuna is good in this chapter, but he is no one before. He is the king of curses. Most of his character is characterization 
defining what he is as an entity in the world. In terms of growth, his growth is happening now, but he's already in a position to where his growth isn't warranted as a character. Though you do get some of that in terms of say the ideals of love and how he is more human than what you would first think. But that's not dove into as much, fair enough. No, my argument isn't strong aura. I'm asking what your argument is. What makes him a bad character? That's what I'm asking you guys. Hey, much love for the Twitch Prime for six months. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Sakuna is Heian Gordon Ramsay. Fuck it. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty fucking funny. I won't lie to you. But yeah, like, no one's telling me what makes him a bad character. Jupiter being possible a traitor. Eh, I mean, that I've heard before, but I mean, either way. Amplification and, fu and Fuga. Amplification and Fuga. Okay. He's one dimensional. I should bring up gone. No, I'm saying you said fall. You said that he's a bad you said that I was confusing strong feats for a good written character. And I'm telling you here, this ain't no strong feat. This is a good character for Sakuna. And most of the story Sakuna defining what he is as an entity in the world. That is his main character archetype. There are sprinkles here and there of more complex stuff. Fair enough, but because, again, he is an entity in the world that's so grandiose, they're not going into, but they don't need to go into. So I'm asking you what you think makes him a bad character, which you haven't answered yet. So I'm going to probably move on now because it's like I'm waiting for a while now. Look. I was going to say the same thing too. Turtle. You don't see this problem with, let's say, a character like Frieza. No one calls Frieza, oh, he's a bad villain. Of course not. King Piccolo, not bad villain. Of course not. What? Hmm? What? What? This chapter warranted a small look into the early life, or it didn't need to be more than that we got for Kaido. I mean, it's... Because I feel like the problem is that people want, like, some sort of... They want every villain to be some sort of Johan Lieber motherfucker, right? They want some... They want everyone to be... Like a, 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 a Griffith, where the depths of their character are so extreme, and then obviously, because they're so, deep, they're so deep, their standards are extreme when it comes to what you'd want from them. But these aren't all villains that are all good villains, all right? Villains like, again, Frieza would still be considered very good villains. Uh, Crocodile, who, very one-dimensional in many respects, a damn good villain. At least at the beginning of the story, I should say. Because he's not, when, 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 when he was a villain, right? I'm like, huh? When he was a villain, right? It just, it just depends on what, how he actually executes it. Sukuna has not executed very well. Like, very, very well. Um, to me, I think that he, Gege, with him, slayed. I think he slayed. I think he's goaded as a character. I don't see uh, any, in terms of issues, I do have issues in terms of just, actually, not even, no. Not really, no. What? It's not an issue with Sukuna. It's an issue with, like, Gege's power system shit, where it feels like they're allowed to bend the rules way too much, given these binding vows. Like, oh, my God, we can do so much now because of binding vow, 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 binding vow. I was like, no, 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 please. But that's not a Sukuna problem. That's a Gege's power system issue. It's like, dude, what the fuck, you know? But that's a whole, a whole, a whole, a whole different thing. Okay. So Sukuna, I think, is a very good villain, all right? I think that he is one of the prima in the Shonen, um, in Shonen uh, as a whole. I think he did a great job with him for sure. Um, so yeah, I'll say that. Now, outside of that, the secondary villain, Kenjaku, is a little bit interesting because Kenjaku doesn't realize his ambitions. But at the same time, he tells you, well... I don't really care. He wants to achieve what could be the pinnacle of cursed energy, what's beyond what cursed energy could normally achieve, but the same thing is like, well, if it winds up being nothing, meh, like, whatever, dude. For him, it was just an experiment. Whether it failed or succeeded, didn't really matter. It was just, well, let's just try it out. 
and then he died in the process of doing that. I feel like Kenjaku is more controversial than Sukuna because Kenjaku went out because of Takaba shit. Uh, and then you'd have killed him, right, yeah. Cool. Remember when Kenjaku uh, thing I said, yeah, 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 I remember, I remember that, yeah, I do remember that. Um, so, he died at second main C. Uh, but, but again, it's like, that's okay if he dies to Yuta. Like, that's not a problem. Um, that's not an issue at all. It's just that I think people had an issue with the whole Takaba thing. Where Takaba and uh, uh, Kenjaku just meme. And I, I don't like what fucking Gege did last chapter. Where uh, Kenjaku could still be alive. Like, no, 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 no. Like, okay. I and like what? Now it's gonna be a comedy duel with uh, Takaba? That shit irks sh That irked me. That fucked me up. That fucked me up. That fucked me up. He's not alive. Lo, well, listen. I don't care. All right. Don't even. Don't. don't he's dreaming. I don't care. He may, maybe you're right. Maybe he's dreaming. All right. Don't fuck with me, bro. You know. Let me. You know. Let. Let me see this again. Is he actually dreaming? Who? Who? Who confirmed this? Like, don't even. Don't even try it. Like, don't even try it. Where's the dream bubble? Okay, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I have no idea where you're getting this from. I have no idea where you're getting this from. I have no idea where you're getting that he's dreaming. I don't see any fucking... I, I'm not seeing that. I, I, I'm not seeing that at all. But, no idea. I don't know, I don't know if he's alive or not, but I don't like that. I think to me, that is a little bit of... Not like it's been in the face of the, of, 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 of the fans, but it's like, it's an unnecessary, like, left in the interpretation window. Of like, oh, well, you know. Nah. Like, you can do it with, let's say, Sukuna's finger and the door opening up. Okay, fine. But for fucking this? No, it makes no sense to me. That's, uh, it, it's like, how do you say? It? It's like, um, it's like, instead of having Madara die, Madara, you just see like, let's say Madara's Hashima face fall to the ground or it's on the ground and you see footsteps. Like, bro, wait, is he alive or not? It's like, yo, please. Mahito is a very standard villain, but he's also fun as fuck. He's epic as hell. Uh, he is dead cold. It's the same dream talk about was how I don't know. But that could be in real life though. That, but that thing, but it, it could be happening in real time, in real life right now. It could be mimicking a dream, fair enough. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But again, Gege also drew that shit. So to me, Kenjaku is a bit of a mystery, obviously. I don't like that. I really don't. But I thought he was a solid villain as a villain, as a secondary main villain in the story. I don't think he's great. I think that he, I think he actually has a pretty damn fun fight with Takaba, for sure. He is interesting. He is the Aizen of the story where he's very methodical. He is planning a lot of different things. He's a villain that has a lot of these uh, grandiose schemes and uh, plots in play. So actually, no, I'll, I'll give him more credit for that. I will say that he's actually a good villain. Um, he is a good villain. He is a good villain. Is he, like, phenomenal? Not necessarily, no. But he is a good villain for sure. All right, that, that's all I'll say. I feel like because, again, I enjoy that Talk about fight with him. I do. I think it's actually a pretty funny, interesting fight. Because the fight itself seemed like it was a almost like a representation of so many of the things that Gege as the author enjoys, uh, watches, views. Like a lot of that fight is Gege's persona wrapped up into that fight. It's very obvious. Like the things that he as a person had fucking enjoyed as a child or what he likes, all of that shit is wrapped up into that, which is fine. I think it's interesting, honestly. Uh, I really, really do. So, at the end of the day, the biggest problem I think with Jujutsu Kaisen is the fact that th that Jujutsu Kaisen had a pretty slipshot ending, where we just kind of whiplash into it. Okay, boom, here we are. Five, five. That's it. Left. Boom. Go. And it kind of gives you this sort of, how do you say? It kind of snuffs out a lot of potential of what could have been. And there was clearly a lot of potential for what could have been. Absolutely, without a damn doubt. 
which is okay in of itself if let's say you're gonna have um, open-ended story, which he does, but when open-ended stuff is involving main characters, that's a fucking issue. That's an issue. So one of the things I, like, like for example, Toriko, one of the things I didn't like in Toriko was not seeing the full courses of the other characters, of Zebra, of Coco, of Sunny, where we get Toriko's and it's fantastic, it's, it's great, but we never get the ending, but we never, we never get the full courses of the other guys as well. Um, their stories never really conclude. Um, and they're main characters, though they're not main characters like Komatsu and Toriko, no. But Megumi and fucking Nobra are, and, and, and they feel like Zebra and Coco and Sunny. They feel like two Hinatas next to Naruto, where they're characters that get love, but they're not like Sasuke and Sakura. And that is fucking dumb. That sucks. That sucks dick. That's not good at all. So, <sighs> bad things where Gege fucked up the most by far and away. By far and away. That's my biggest gripe by far with the story. Nobra and Megumi as characters. By far. By far. I think he dropped the ball on them too. I just don't know which one's worse. I'm trying to figure out like who's worse exactly. <laughs> who's worse? Nobura or, or Megumi? I don't know. But they're like in the same camp as character as, you know, like, like, like minor characters, minor main characters. But it's like they they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. Is writing peaked at hit inventory? Oh no. No, 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 no. Well, at least for who? Because I'm saying like Utah, I mean, I usually get some good like, usually get some good shit, dude. Like, Yuji gets some good shit. He gets some good shit. Absolutely. Yuji's, Yuji's very good. Um, I mean, when he had to, like, power through uh, the guilt that he was feeling after Sukuna had eradicated all those people in, like, a 200 fucking meter area, it's like, bro, what the hell? Are you crazy? That was, that, that was very good. That, and, 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 and that was in, uh, during the... Um, uh, She was in an arc. She was into the arc. So yeah, Toji, Toji's goaded. To, 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 Toji's goaded. Let him cook. Toji's gonna be actually one of those epic characters of all time. Toji is amazing. Toji is he is one of the the, the jewels. He's one of the uh, <laughs> he's potentially Gege's magnum opus. Toji, amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so let me see. Um, some stuff. I tackle a few things here or there. Um, I, 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 do, I do wish that, um, I'll be, I'll be with you. I do wish that, that the world building would be more, um, the world building is interesting. It's good, but it's not great. It's good. It's not great. There are too many, there are the, like, different, uh, uh, obscure things about the world building of the story. The pace takes like a huge issue because again, we have five chapters left. And then the character stuff then gets cut short because the pace of the whole story, it fucks up massively because we just kind of end it right there. So it's annoying as fuck. But in terms of world building, you do have, I thought that there was a lot of like possibilities when it comes to world building. Um, particularly when it came to overseas shit because they, they actually involved overseas shit. That I don't like either. Like I don't like how we just have an open-ended, hey, Americans took sorcerers. So at some point in the future, we'll, we'll just get them back. Is, 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 is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, no, Shadow was not. That was a TCB link. That fucked me up. Bad. Uh... Well, right now I'm using this site called, um, what's it called? Uh, Chant, Chant Manga NATO. Ch Chant Manga NATO, sure, yeah. So that's what I'm having right now, because it looks like they just took TCB shit and put it there, which is fine by me, because listen, man, I, I have uBlock on and somehow my shit's still fucked up, so. Ugh. 
fucking hell, man. Honestly, for me, at the very least, I've now, before my uh, reread gives me the chapter series a whole step away. Uh, I would say this story is very good. I don't think this. Up until the last part, where I think Gege dropped the ball because he fucks up the entire pace of the story, you could argue, by just stopping short, which then fucks up all the main character stuff, which is annoying as hell. But, you, but Yuji's a great character. Sukuna, I think, is good as hell. Kenjaka, I think, is very good. Yuta, Maki, also pretty solid characters, too, in their totality. Um, you have Toji, he exists. Oh. I would say that overall, as a story, like there, this story is not bad. No, it's not. It's, it's, six is too low. I think saying six like oh, cat, I think it's way too low, way too low. I think again, the ending is not great. No, like I have problems with Naruto, the Four Ninja War, massively. I think the Bleach fucking final war. Oh, it 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 starts to suck so much. Damn dick, dude. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Ew. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the Toriko final arc. Oh my god. We skipped like three arcs to get there. Like, there ain't no fucking way. Man. Oh. Whew. But. I don't think it's six. I won't. In their totality, these arcs. Like, you have to have a series of mid to bad arcs to overall become, like, a six, right? You have to have, a, like, like, consistent mid. The last five chapters doesn't make it, or, and the pacing being fucked up doesn't make it mid. I would say it's at least a 7.5. This, or I would say, I would give JJK in its totality at least a good plus. 7.5, 8 out of 10. That's what I would say, honestly. 7.5. Fairy tale is a fucking four. Fairy tale's bad. Probably a three. It's bad. Fairy tale had like consistent, not mid, trash, trash arcs. Like cons bad, 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 mid, bad. Like okay, nigga. All right, I'm done. Four or three, right? That and um, history's strongest disciple Kenichi. They're bad stories. They're like fours out of ten. Yeah, that's bad. JJK is not bad. It's not mid. It's not five or six. I think it's at least good. I would say right now, uh, again, 7.5, 8 out of 10. Absolutely. I'll give it, that, that's all I would say. The story had a lot, of, it, it, it has, I would argue, goaded village. Kenjaku, Mahito is, is crazy. He's the edge lord one. You guys want to see a lot of blood and death and maniac shit. He's your boy. All right? He's your boy. But Sukuna, I think, is a regular villain. I, th I think he's a regular villain. I, I think he's a prima shonen villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there better villains than him? Yeah, for sure. Um, out obviously compared to the peak niggas that exist, like Merrim and Togoro and Shinobu Sensui, he ain't damn niggas. Nah, he ain't damn niggas. No sir, no sir. No, no. But some more days, uh, maybe one day. But in terms of villainy, I would say he is. In the top echelon, like he is, he he is among the better uh, the better ones for sure, uh, at least where I would put the better ones. So let's say, well, I think when I think when I think well, let's say very 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 good villains, villains that I think are like prima villains. Kurolo Lucifer is outstanding. Frieza to this day is goaded. Niggas sleep on King Piccolo like you wouldn't believe. Zanzas is very good from Mary Born. Acacia is also very good too. Midra is great. Makima is actually very good. I think Makima is better than. Is Makima. Ooh, actually, I want to spoil shit. Let me not 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 spoil shit. Okay. Um, Dofi, Pain. Pain? Oh my god. Pain was him until he wasn't him. Forget Ninja War. She. But Sukuna's in this. Yo, Dol Doflamingo, fucking Crocodile. Um, Ka Kaido is. 
Kaido's different. He's epic like Sukuna. Though he's standing at, you know, actually, maybe. Kaido, he needs more thought. No, 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 no. No, not, not Riboku. Don't, don't, don't do Riboku. Re, Riboku is like peak peak. He's like, he's in that Merim stratum. He's like, you have, you have, you have top tiers like Sukuna and, 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 and Doflamingo and, and, you know, uh, like fucking Frieza. Um, Grim Jow, and then you got Riboku. Right? Like, he's in, like, this, he's one of the best all time. Like, he's vying for one of the best all time antagonists. It's crazy. So, let's, 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 not, let's, not, let's, not, let's not do that. Let's, let's not do this. Let's not, let's not do that. Uh, Dio, D, 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 all time. All time. I, no. Actually, I'll be with you. I don't think Aizen is a better villain than Byakuya Kuchiki was in Soul Society. I really do. When Byakuya was a villain, holy fuck, man. That was some of the deepest, some of the most saddest, some of the most fucking uh, I I intention of all time. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Like, Aizen is like a top tier villain for sure, but I think as a villain, Byakuya Kuchiki is better. For sure. I'm not, no, 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 no. The problem is that because Aizen plots and he schemes like a motherfucker and in the anime, he's also watching Bleach. He's like, oh my God, he's so epic. Whoa. Why did Aizen do what he want to do? Who is Aizen? What led the man that he is today? We don't fucking know. He's just kind of there. He's epic as fuck. Oh, the chair is, oh, nigga, the chair. God damn. Like, oh, blah, blah. And that's why, like, to me, Sukuna's gauntlet, Aizen's scheming and their chair, Kaido's fucking in insane gauntlet. Like, these niggas are just epic. They're fucking, they're epic as hell. But Byakuya willing to sacrifice Rukia family for the betterment of soul society and a maintaining the rules so a, 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 a human doesn't interfere with how the souls and how the world functions. I'm like, this, this nigga was deep. Balkia was nuts. P P Poochie, he's just epic at the end, right? I'll be real with you, bro. Like, yeah, he's epic. Don't confuse epic villains for like peak well-written villains. In, Cause yeah, a lot of times they interchange for sure. Without a doubt, right? But, but Griffith is like top, top, top. He's like vying for goat status. Him, Meruem, Togoro, Reboko, these are like the goat goats. Sukuna ain't a goat goat, but he is a prima villain. Blackbeard, Blackbeard potentially, right? Like, I would say right now, like, there's no One Piece villain that's, like, in the goat, goat, goat conversation of villain right now. There could be, I mean, Blackbeard is getting there for sure. <laughs> he, he, he's getting up there, that's for sure. But we're not there yet. We're, we're not there yet in terms of villains, right? That's our argue. Like, we have to actually, like, Garland could be him, for sure. But, like, Oda is building up towards that. Like, if you read Kingdom... This nigga Reboku, it's like, there's just no way. Like, every time you're like, oh, please, God, not Reboku, dude. Not Reboku. Not Reboku, please. A villain or an antagonist that grows, that's very deep, that's super effective. Like, why he does what he does is on such a high level. And, nah. This man said, did he? Okay. Um, but, yeah. So, look. Uh, oh, yeah, and then, um. One last thing, the peak of JJK. Every story has a peak, right? Like a part of the story where it kind of just like takes a whole new level. I still think that the Shibuya incident arc is the peak of the story. Now that could be cap. That, 
that could be Cap. Because I feel like it's either that or it's Gojo versus Sukuna. I'm still debating my mind right now, like, what's actually, like, the peak of the story. I'm not too sure right now. I kind of have to go back and think. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. This man said, Tago's existence. We need a villain tier list stream? We probably do. Probably do. Because as a villain, like, again, Sukuna's really good. He's very, very strong. Again, like, I would say he's in that same sort of echelon. Maybe not as good, but I'll say he's in that same echelon as someone like Aizen um, as a villain, per speaking. All right? but, but, but again, maybe I'm a bit weird that way. Where I, maybe I'm a bit weird where I feel like, you know, b b I think Byakuya as a villain is so underappreciated. It's, 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 it's insane. Like, Byakuya's so fucking good, man. It's, it's, like, Kuba had such a strong star. As a, he is such a fucking strong. Like, okay, like, for example, too. As a villain, I think I prefer Orochimaru as a villain compared to, let's say, even someone like uh, Nagato. Though Nagato is a very deep villain. But then he falls off like, I'm like, oh, fuck me, for fuck's sake, dude. I think he falls off heavy. I think he falls off like super heavy. Um, but, I mean, that's different, you know, different there. Either way. So, um, okay. Some donations. I see them. I see them. Let me get to them. So, for the win, too, Yuji, Sun, Bougie, Itadori will eat the finger. Kill me. Uh, Jaden, uh, Ace Vendo, appreciate what Fall Fives is this. Sukuna is all about proving his ideals and he of hedonism as the strongest. Now, he realizes Yuji's, uh, Yuji's ideals were stronger. He's going to try again with Yuji's ideals. That's a good take. Yes, that, that, that I think is a good take. It's a strong take because... His ways of hedonism and so on, they ultimately caused him to loss. He, he, he did lose. But undeniably, he was at the apex of it all come the end of the story. He was the strongest around. Maybe in the future, you should be the strongest, but we don't know. You know, that, that'd be like, you know, yeah. <laughs> JJK, next generations, you know? Uh, JJK has, has, a big problem, has a big problem with character consistency. I think the biggest problem with the characters isn't necessarily consistency. I, I, I think the problem is with the main characters lacking. They fall so far. Like Yuji and, um, not Yuji, um, Megumi and Nobra fall so f short compared to Yuji. They just fall so short. But some characters are inconsistent. Though, to be fair, in what, re in what way? Like, because they don't show up or because they flip-flop? Something like who flip-flops like, or whose character changes like on and off, like on a dime. I'm trying to think about it now. I don't think any character really has that issue. Um, and again, in terms of world building, in terms of power systems, like the obviously the problem is the binding valve bullshit. But a, a lot of stories have problems with the power systems. You know, a lot of them aren't perfect. All right. Uh, Brody, the end of the series does not diminish the whole series uh, of consistent peak. The end was rushed, but I think it's still a 8, 9, 10 as a whole. I'm saying it was peak. Yeah, so I would agree with, like, the peaks are extremely high. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, for me, I'll kind of give the story, like, because, again, I'm not too sure if the peak is the Gojo fight versus Sukuna, or is it Shibuya is it arc as a whole. But those, I think, were the, like, the biggest peaks in the story, for sure. But then it does, I think, at times taper off from there. Like, you don't have, like, compared to Gojo or Sukuna, usually, like, for example, I still don't know what the fuck Yuji's uh, domain domain expansion does. I, I still don't know. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I have no idea. It, it just happens. He goes fucking like this. And then we're in some soul shit, I think. Or, like, we're right on a vacation. We go to a train station. We try and catch fish. It's summertime. It's springtime. It's fall. It's like, bro, what's, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. I have no idea. I have zero idea. Like, bro, hello? So like, there are some things that I think are too damaging, but there are other things that are fantastic. But like, it's hard for me to give the story like an eight or a nine or a 10 when you have a character like fucking Nobra, who is your main female lead and she's missing for most of the story. That is a bad thing. Even though I love Hunter Hunter, 
Leorio missing for so long in the story, and then when he comes back, he does something maybe as of late. But r right now, it's not a good thing for the story of Hunter. It's not. Okay. Um, if you have um, let's say. If you had a situation where, let's say in terms of One Piece, let's say Nami, even though it makes no sense, let's say, you know, hypothetically speaking, right? Let's say Nami goes missing from Fishman Island all the way to Wano country. You're like, dude. And she comes back super effective, holy shit, plays a big role against Kaido. And then now the story's gonna reach its conclusion. Um, what? Okay. That's a problem. That's a problem. Thunder Tempo Kaido, true. <laughs> Krishna, uh, I kid you not, before Gojo died, I would only be reminded that Yuji was the main character only when he appeared uh, on the cover pages and shown in covers. I mean, yeah, to be fair, like that was, because again, I, I read it in bulk. So I don't know how it was week to week. That's what, very important too for you guys, okay? I've only started reading JJK week to week very recently. I was reading JJK, I think up until chapter, what chapter was it? Um, was it the chapter when, when Yuji, Higuruma, and uh, Yuta team up? I forgot when I started reading it. 460, 260, 260 was it 264? Yeah, I forget, actually, you know what? I forget when exactly. I'll be with you. Um, but then if that's the case, I've been reading week to week to week for only about a month and a half. You know? So I miss the reactions. They're all, they're all there on, on the YouTube. They're all there. They're all there on YouTube. All my, all, all my, all my retos are there. So I feel like if you have, because I don't know how many chapters, how many chapters was the Gojo versus Sakuna fight? Does anyone know off the top of their head? Because when you're reading it week to week to week, it must be a lot different in your mind. Like 10. Is it like 10? Really? Shit. So if it's like 10 or like 12, or let's say, let's say 12 max, right? That's three fucking months. That's three months. That's three months of nothing but Gojo versus Sukuna. That's got to be insane. 223 to 236, the 13 chapters. Oh, I guess 14, you include each one. Okay. Dog. Dog. That must have been intense. Like, so let's say over three, over three, over three months of Gojo versus Sukuna. That's, that, that's incredible. That is incredible. Yeah, it sounds gonna be memes every week. Like, people going hard as fuck. Um, I feel like, but that also shapes your purview of how important each one is, right? For me, it was impeccable, but it was like also a part of the bigger grandiose arc of things, right? Where or the saga, where I could kind of just roll through it and I perceive it differently because I'm just rolling through it. Um, but for you guys, we have to wait and then you have to theorize, and then you have you 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 uh, put your stakes on the theories. Like for me, my biggest thing was okay, who's gonna win? Either Gold or Sakuna. I said I said I said, I said Sakuna. That was really it. But like, if you're waiting week to week to week to week, the theories start to build up. The, ex the expectations start to change, whether you go higher, you go lower. Uh, and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're straddling more with, in, like, in your mind. Like, what's going on? Is it good? Is it bad? So like, thing, pl plus the breaks, right? So it's going to be a different environment to kind of gauge that compared to if you're reading it on a, uh, if you're just kind of reading the entire thing in bulk. Yeah. So divide it. Mm. <laughs> um okay uh for the win five uh you're crazy if you think sakuna is a good character as madara meruem etc uh he's good but you need more than strong plus aura to be goaded no i don't think he is i don't think he's as good as Mer madara i think could have like he's one of the closest i think to that goat status 
but I don't think he is on that GOAT status. Even He's like, he's phenomenally epic. And has a lot of depth to him. Absolutely. But, you know what, may, maybe he is GOAT status, because it's, it's hard. Like, Madara is like fucking, he's so fucking good. The problem is that Kishimoto fucks him so hard. And it's such bullshit. And it's such fucking cap. Like, I have never been more disappointed in my fucking life while reading Naruto than seeing what happened to Mar. It was soul crushing. It was the most disrespectful fucking thing. Like, Nobra coming back was bad. Madara getting Black Zetsu'd is vastly... Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. I said the wrong thing. My fault. Let me... Okay. Yuji, not Yuji, Megumi coming back the way he did, I thought was bad. Because Megumi coming back the way he did, I was like, we won't... We... You're wasting my time! But Madara getting Black Zetsu? Real quick for Naruto. The reason why I always have part one Naruto in such high esteem compared to part two Naruto is because part one Naruto, I don't think has any bad, really. Like, I think part one Naruto at a baseline is good, like a seven out of 10, and then it, and then it peaks to like 9.5 out of 10 for some of these arcs. It's, it's, it's fucking amazing. But part two Naruto has lows. It has deep, like, valleys fucking crevices as deep as the mariana trench it, it, it's horrific what they were doing sometimes there i'm like Shh, get the fuck out of my face hey yo where are the characters that we built up for so damn long in the pre-time skip these niggas haven't been shown for how long now oh rock lee's gonna do something during the kaios wrong bitch he's gonna get knocked out by sakura suck my dick Fuck you. Oh, Neji. Oh, God. Neji's dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. I've always been the... Uh, fuck, man. I've always pushed the idea that Kishimoto made a big mistake when he decided not to commit to the kills that Pain had achieved in the Kage, uh, in the Pain Vision arc. If Pain had killed off all those guys and actually had actually killed them off, oh man, the story would have returned to glory. It, 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 it would have returned to peak. Peak. Like, it would have been just as bad as Orochimaru's raid. Or worse. Like, worse. But now it's not even close. To, to, uh, 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 oh my god. Orochimaru uh, 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 is, again, underappreciated. He's such a fucking peak villain. It's, 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 it's nasty. Paul 1 Orochimaru, oh my god. Like, he'd be goaded. You know? Madara again. Madara... So yeah, Madara, I'm not saying that Madara and uh, Sakuna are on the same level, per se, but they could be in the same strata, where, like, in terms of, say, a tier list, like, they would be top tier villains, but Sakuna's like, on the bottom rung, Madara's in the top run, or Madara's, like, maybe slightly goaded, potentially. Um, but it's not just Aura, though. But, but, wait, wait, but, 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 but keep in mind, Sakuna is not just an aura villain, right? Like Sakuna as a villain is justifying what's before. What um uh what what Brody said before. He's a character that is trying to justify his view of the world, his hedonism of the world, and he is accomplishing that by smiting anyone that would be the opposition for that. He has aura for sure, but as a character He's trying to vouch for the idea of a curse in its pinnacle form as the pinnacle curse of the story. And he actually, ex he succeeds in doing that, you could argue, by taking out Gojo, but then you have the whole gone afterwards. Um, but that's the idea of Sukuna. He is a character that is there to justify his existence and his hedonistic ways as an entity that is a curse. A mal Mind you. A malicious entity. Curses aren't good motherfuckers. Even someone like Jogo. Jogo. People love Jogo. What did he do when he was in that restaurant? He burned all them niggas. He just killed all these humans. Like, click, boom, dead. I don't give a fuck. Why? Because you're worthless. The views of humanity 
and what a soul is and things of that sort are very different for a curse because it's made a human being, right? So all I'm trying to say is that it's a different thing. They're cooking you on Twitter? L- then, wait, what? For the fucking porn? Oh, shit, dude. I hope not. But either way, it doesn't matter. L- l- let Twitter do their thing. That, that has no value. Zero value. Because I think that what happens is that, okay, if I'm getting cooked on Twitter, I have my suspicions here. I do. Because I'm starting to guess here that these same niggas on Twitter are probably backtracking and saying, hey, look at this ending for this story, like Attack on Titan, or um, Tokyo Revengers, or My Academia, or Naruto, right? Endings that would be deemed, at that point in time, bad endings, and they're saying, oh, JJK is worse than all these endings. It's so fucking bad. Right. I'm thinking there's a lot of that sort of peer pressure, revisionist history going on right now in real time. That's my guess here, because it happens, it happens all the time. Again, let's, the problem is that I've, I'm so seasoned in the game, I've, I've seen it all. I'm like Kang the Conqueror. Or he, you know, I'm he who remains. I've lived a million lifetimes, and I've seen it all. I have seen it all. I have seen so many series go down the drain, and then, oh, this is the worst shit. Oh, this is the worst shit. This is the worst shit. This is the worst shit. Oh my god, this is the worst. Hmm. Oh, the instant. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, yeah fair, fair enough. Fair enough, right? Listen, TCB, they fucked me up. I have U block on. My U block is on. My m- fucking. It's there. It's there. I don't get it. Like, my U block was on. It was fucking on. It should have blocked the goddamn ads. Either way. Listen, you can't. Yeah, they were nice tits, but it's like, bro. Are these tits going to toss me on a Twitch channel? Nah, nigga, they ain't that. They ain't that nice. They're not Scarlett Johansson teasing my face. Nah, they ain't that nice. Nope. Nope, nope. Yeah, you, yeah, for real, bro. Like, you block, yo, they call lacking. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. I have you block on. I, I expect you block to block. She is. Oh, God. Tall spin facts, not ending with strategy. That's what I'm saying, bro. But yeah. You know, like, uh, to me, it just feels like there's just a lot of that revisionist history going on, which is, you know, which, which is, I can understand it. In real time, maybe because it's bad now, you have rose-tinted uh, glasses for the past, which happens a lot. It happens a lot, all right? But try to be aware of that actively. Where, okay, hold on, time out. Am I saying that Naruto's ending is actually good? Because I hate the JJK ending that much right now? Or is it actually good? And when the Kage's bitch ass, that shit can suck my dick. Again, I love the last two chapters of Toriko. Fucking goaded. That doesn't mean the fucking, how we got to the final arc is good. No, no, no. We skipped how many arcs now? Like three? No, 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 no. We skipped Zebra shit and Sunny shit and Coco. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. Not good. Okay. Either way. Where are these donors coming from? Hey, y'all. Okay. Um, uh, N-A-N-S-A-O. XL, appreciate you. I don't know the means. Um, Sukuna took over Megumi so he could solidify his, uh, his dub with Gojo, which was foreshadowed uh, the whole series, Master Schemer. 
Uh, I think that Gojo said before that because he's inside of because he's inside Megumi's body, he know he can win. But yeah, probably like again, Sukuna thought that okay, if I'm inside of his body, that's gonna be like a, like a deterrent. And also, I mean, shit, he Sukuna when he said of, of uh, Megumi's body was phenomenal. He was he he was insane. He was insane. He was in, he was nuts. It's Kaido Sukuna, who's a better char uh, who's a better character right now. I feel like it's Sukuna. But Kaido has more potential because Kaido could get more character stuff in a God Valley flashback. In a Rock's Pie flashback. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, remember the memes of Kaido? First, I was a little boy. Then I was a medium boy. Then I was a big boy. <laughs> like, wait, okay. <laughs> the memes, bro. The memes were great. First, I was a little boy. Oh, then I was a big boy. Oh, then I was a big Oh, like, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Because Kaido, here's the problem with Kaido, right? Oda doesn't want to give us Rock's content yet. He wants to save that for the future. And because of that, Kaido's character suffers. Because <laughs> Oda refuses to dive into the deeper things of Rock's pirates just yet. That's the fucking issue with Kaido. It's not Kaido's fault. It's Oda's fault for, ooh, I want to save the Rock's Pride stuff for when Rock's returns and he's sitting on Emu's chair, all studly. Like, okay, all right, fine, fair enough. But, you know. But Kaido is, in terms of top, he is epic. Aura does matter for a villain. You don't have, let me say this, right? Hold on. For all the guys that say, okay, like, well, you, you can't gauge the on just Aura, which is fair, I agree. But Aura does matter too. For a villain, you don't want some fucking... She, Frieza might just be mostly Aura. Frieza's fucking goaded, man. Um, like in terms of Aura, he outshines people like Vegeta. He outshines people. Actually, hold on. Wait, fuck DBZ. Eisen, Eisen's all, all well, not all. Eisen has extreme Aura, like Aura of the damn dickhole, dude. But he's not as deep as Byakuya when he was in Soul Society. Fuck no. Fuck no. But y'all love Aizen. Oh, Aizen memes. I remember back in the day. <laughs> Lol, dude. Guess what? <sighs> Plot Kai. Yeah. I'm Kubo now. Like the memes of Aizen was Kubo. Like he was Kubo's insert. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> he was Kubo's insert. Oh, those, those are great times. Those are great times. Anime fix right now, Muzan though. I Muzan, I think he's a good villain, but I have to see more of Muzan shit. Um I'll wait and see. Like the villains in Demon Slayer, they don't hmm. Hmm. the villains in Demon Slayer don't seem as good as the actual main characters. That's why I feel about the villains in Demon Slayer right now. Like the main characters are just like fucking um Ren Goku. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my nigga. My nigga Ren Goku. Please. Oh, oh god. Black black clover villains are fucking bad, dude. Like, this is my problem, Black Clover. Dude. Like, I'm waiting for like to this day, the best villain in Black Clover is still Patri. And I don't fucking get it. We're in the final stretch. Bully Maguire had, oh, the potential of Bully Maguire. What the fuck? But it's not, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not hidden. It's just not hitting, man. Okay. Uh, Krishna, I appreciate you. Five. They really were just acquaintances at uh, to Gojo Lamau. Not to mention, after he died... No great for him. Yuta used his body like a condom and let the rock. Crazy. He's buried somewhere. Calm the fuck down. At least, hopefully. Uh, actually, no, that's a good call. Actually, homeless. <laughs> Yo, this nigga said it. Yuta used his body like a condom. He, he strapped on the protection. Hey, that's crazy. Hey, that's fucking. <laughs> you fucking wrong for that. Uh, Krishna, again, uh, can't wait for 13-year-old Gojo stand girls to shift 
over making Sh uh, Chiller to Shanks and Mihawk, uh, Rule 34 now. Uh oh, what a time to be alive. Um, bro, listen. Mihawk is fucking. <laughs> Yo, much love, Carrot Champion, for the five months. Uh, One Piece post time skip has the same issue as Naruto with the same character uh, to an extent. The crew is still there, true, but some of them are highly developed. In my opinion, Oda cooked a bit too much or where the story, world building. No, 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 no. He does not. No. No, 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 no. Don't lie. No, 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 don't lie. No, no, don't, 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 don't lie. You're saying that now because like we're split apart. We're we're splitting we're splitting apart again right now in the story. But no, don't don't say that. Don't do that, cat. I see you're doing. Don't do that. All right, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for uh, for the five sub, but don't do that. The crew separated during Dress Rosa. Zoro, Frankie, Robin got shine in Dress Rosa when half the crew wasn't there. Okay, um, and then we cut over to um Hokey Island. Brooke, Sanji. Chopper is a bit of an issue. Yes, I'll admit that. I will admit that. I will, I will admit that. Chopper is Chopper's an issue. Fair enough, fine. But, um, Brooke and Sanji. Brooke and Sanji, dude. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Brooke was phenomenal. Brooke was. Brooke, Brooke big mom? Nigga, what? <sighs> Young lady. Like, oh, what? Brooke? Tell him. Oh, Brooke was too much. Brooke was too much. The problem with One Piece is that it has. Too many characters. Like, for example, I think a fair comparison to One Piece in terms of the character pool is My Hero. My Hero has Class 1A. Half of Class 1A, I don't know what they do. I don't know who these niggas are. Like, literally. Like, there's some sugar dude that just eats sugar and then gets bus he, he gets muscular. There's a fucking rock band girl. Right? She does something, uh, Jiren, whatever, whatever her name is. There's um, uh, Shoyo, who uh, has the multiple appendages. He's getting better. Good. Fair enough. There's a chicken whisperer. Where the fuck is this guy? A Kentucky Fried motherfucker. Whatever, dude. Um, you have Invisible Chick, Ops, Spy, wh whatever. Yeah, Jiren. <laughs> yeah, Jiren. I don't know what the... That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck are these people? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I do not know. Jinbei, okay, Sigmar. You know, fair point of Jinbei with the crew. But Jinbei got a lot of gas in the pre-time skip when he was there in Impel Down for a huge stretch and in the final war, with the uh, Paramount War for a huge stretch. Um, even He was even there on um, uh, Amazon Lily. To actually help, he actually gave Luffy the willpower to continue going on by reminding him of, of, of what's important. Like, why want to live, Luffy? Luffy, you know? My Nakama! And then you see all of his crew. Yeah, of course. Like, that Jinbei it, uh, ushered that in. Jinbei gets hella love on, on, on uh, Fisherman Island. He gives Luffy his blood. So Jinbei gets sauce. Absolutely does. But as a crew member, right now, he's lacking. Fair enough. But Jinbei has gotten a sauce, for sure. Um... I can't tell you the last time Chicken Whisperer got fucking sauce. He got it recently, I think, in like the latest arc in My Hero. Um, but it's like, I don't know his name. Now, yeah, I'm bad at names, we're gonna find. But even like the characters that I do know, Mina, um, uh, Fropy. Oh, shit, I'm fucked. Wallahi. Oh. Uh... Got the glasses, um, because he he hasn't done fuck all in a minute, dude. What's his name? Oh my god, dude, I'm so cooked. Um, e Ida, there. I thank you. <laughs> Ida, Ida is 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 right now. He's kind of like mid. Tokoyami's great right now. He's great. He's great. He's great. But I feel like the author, my hero. What? Maybe just me. But I feel like the author of My Hero decided to shift gears from a big core three, where to me, in like the first three arcs of the story, even let's say four, the big core three were Midoriya, Ida, and Ochoko. That's what I felt. They were like a core. But then 
it changed from them to Midoriya, Bakugo, and Todoroki, where they're a more powerful unit, and that's like the new core. That's what it felt to me, where like we kind of shit the gears of who the core were. And so Ida is like almost like in a Leora situation now where like he's kind of worthless. But Ochako gets more and more love here and there, but only like the female stuff. Like, okay, so you have Ota o Ochako and Toga. I want to talk about love and romance. Okay. What about the time when you were training against Bakugo for a fight? Mm. And you applying, you were playing, you were scheming. Mm. Where are those days? They're not here anymore, you know? So, Re Leorio is peak when he appears, but he appears very, I, I, I mean, in terms of screen time, like, he just kind of gets, like, shafted. I mean, it is what it is. He gets shafted, like, he, he a lot. <laughs> I wish you got more time. Of course I do, but, you know, I, I'll tell you. All right. Uh, the, 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 for the win, the Black Zetsu incident was bad, but we, sh uh, but should we count it against Madara's character? It's not really a slight against him for being a, a pure character. Um, it's the idea of Madara, because again, it's not his fault, but a lot of things are like that. We're like, it's not really like, it's not like the character's fault per se. It's what, how they actually are written in the story. And the problem is that. Madara being usurped by a much more um, potent final villain is an issue because Madara was being built up for the entire story to be the final villain, but he wasn't the final villain. He was just a puppet under Black Zetsu. So it puts into question the quality of his schemes and his machinations and his thought process and all these things because, nigga, you were a bitch. Sorry. And it's like, fuck, man, you can't do that. It... It diminishes a lot of Madara's quality. Maybe, maybe not a lot per se, but it does diminish his quality, right? It's like if you find out that Aizen plotting, scheming, watching Bleach on a monitor, crazy. Actually, you're being controlled by Yuha Bak. Like, <sighs> I mean, like you're still savage, but you're not. You're not, you're, not, you're not the same dude. Like, you've lost quality. You've lost a little bit of that oomph, that gusto, the aura, if you would. But also, you're standing in, in the story as a villain. You're no longer him. You're no longer the character that could be deemed as... Well, no, actually, no, no, no. Let me not say that. It's not that far. No, 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 it's not that far. No, no, no. But, but what, 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 what I'm trying to get at is that it does diminish the characters retrospectively, right? Because Madara is still a villain ultimately coming in the story. Um, if he became a good guy, okay, fine, you argue that doesn't matter because he's not, because now, now he's a good guy and then he gets taken out. But he's still a villain through and through. And then so once you get usurped as a villain, once you find out that you're not at the top of the food chain, it doesn't mention, I think you're a lot we did uh, before. Yes, I, that's what I'd argue. So that's why I struggle with Mario, say, being a GOAT tier character, a, a GOAT tier villain, and a top tier villain. I, I do struggle with that for sure. Yeah, I do. Um, Mario achieved everything, though, killed Sasuke and Naruto, but they came back. Use uh, Muga, uh, Mugen, uh, Mugen Tsuyomi. He did, true. But then he got duped. Like the, moment he, the moment he had the chance to achieve what he wanted to achieve, no, actually. And then what he thought it was, it wasn't the case at all. Where the Shinju tree wraps up all the people around him in the, uh, if, uh, in the environment. Then, actually, in reality, no. It's that if he cogged her energy, so she comes back, it's like, oh, what the fuck? So, like... And then how was executed, too? Jesus, it was horrific. But, yeah, I see what you're saying, though. Like, I, I, can, I can understand your viewpoint where, like, Madara as a standalone villain, boom. Goaded, yes, but he's not standalone, and that's like where it fucks up. Um, right, like he was just a piece, he was a pawn, he was a tool. Which, to be fair, you can have goaded villains out like that as well. Don't like, don't get me wrong, you like, you can. But for some of moderate stature, nah.